Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to Boom Beach. It's your boy, T-Boy. I do want to start this video by first um, saying I do apologize about my live stream. I wasn't able to get it up. Um, I had really bad um, technical difficulties uh, trying to get my live stream up, so I do apologize about that. But I was successful in getting my diamond... Halloween Mega Crab Trophy, as y'all can see right here, there it is, the Diamond Halloween Mega Crab Trophy, and your boy did it, and then I did a couple of stages after um, stage 60, so I did like one, two, and three, so I did like three stages after 60, it was like 63, and it's pretty hard up in, up in the 60s, but... I will show off like an attack today on that. I'm not really going to do any more um, higher attacks and try to grind up higher with the um, Halloween Maker Crab because it is still out. But I am going to show y'all, and we are going to get Dr. T completed today, and we're going to defeat all of my players that are on my map. So as we're going to come in here, of course, once again, we don't get gold, but we're going to get um, shards because I need. Uh, do we build on like dust or the uh, the point is for me the balance in my dust? I'm trying to get this to go up more because the more dust I have, the more easier or the more easy it becomes for me to grind or grind out trophies for when I'm ranking up and because I am pushing for the top player in this game so. It makes it easier for me to grind out, grind out trophies and whatnot, because then I could come in and boost these statues back here. And when, I, for some strange reason, when these statues are boosted, I don't get attacked as much as I would like to say. I don't get attacked as much. Like when they're not boosted, I get destroyed like a lot during the day. But when when they're boosted. I don't really get attacked as much, but oh yeah, uh, I haven't showed y'all this base design. Uh, this is just a prototype that I'm working with. I actually designed this, and I wanted to make this better, but don't really know how to make this better. If y'all have any ways of making this base better, leave it um comments, leave your ideas in the comments. But yeah, uh, we are gonna come right in here beat down Dr. T and then we're going to beat down players. So we're going to come in here and do a boost on my true damage. So we're going to do a boost on the masterpieces. Troop damage and then troop health. And I'm going to do more boost on my troop health only for the sole reason of I think I'm going to have to deal with some nasty players on my map, and we're going to boost the gunboat energy, and that's all the boosts I'm going to be doing for today, for this attack, so, let's get straight into it, all right, so I'm going to go after these players first, all right, of course, he's online, <laughs> gotta love that in the morning, all right, so, this guy, mm, pretty good, pretty good, as y'all see, he does not have no blue up, so, this is, just, oh, wait, he does have two blue statues up, but he doesn't have the full the full set so let's this should be able to just crush through so we're just gonna drop everything. I'm using scorches right now just to make this easier for me to go and crush everything and beat everything and because scorches have a boost in their damage right now which I think is really insane because it just makes it these things a lot more brutal and they just deal a ton more damage. If y'all don't know what these scorches do so they basically, they spit out this fire, as y'all can see right here. And then the fire le leaves a lingering burning effect onto... Oh, this guy here. He's in the top 500 in warships? Really? Cute. All right. But anyways, um, they leave a lingering burning effect on buildings that burns them for longer in a sense, so they they do a ton of damage while they're just sitting there just burning everything down. 
This guy has a shield, all right. The shield is in the back. That's cute, though. Oh, this guy has double shield. That's nice, 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 nice. Basically, the same strat that I have on my base right now, but I don't know what his prototypes were. I forgot what his prototypes were. I just, yeah, I just came here to destroy this entire base. But yeah, as y'all see there, they're going to go up there, clean up the shield generators, and then it's just going to open up the core. And there we go. And they just have to blaze through the rest of the core. So that's the first base right there. Amanica 69. Yeah, very nice. Nice battle, but um, step up your defenses. All right, so we're going to get up into the next one here. Oh, you know, got to reinforce. Another reason why this strat is... I, um, I try not to use the strat at, that much is because... If I don't turn on my health statues for these scorchers, these cost a lot of gold to repair. And if I go against like really hard bases, I will switch the stat out. The stat out because I don't want to sit here and try to beat down a base and almost lose all my scorcher. See, something like this. But I know how to beat this with all scorchers, so I'm gonna just drop everything. But if he had any more blue, I would have re definitely went and switched my strat for um Scorched Ears because Scorched Ears is it costs less because the Bombardiers don't cost as much as the um Scorchers do. I think the Bombardiers only cost like thirty thousand to train up at red whereas the two boats uh the double Scorched Ears and each boats cost like two hundred thousand. I think almost two hundred thousand. We're gonna go look at that in a second. But yeah, we're gonna get into the space. I'm um, just chewing it up. Uh, as y'all see, he has like four of these blue down here. But that's not really that bad. He has the masterpieces um, boosted. But I think we should be easily to walk through this. We just need to come in here and stun up these boom cannons. Because the boom cannons is what tears down the, um, sh the scorches. Yeah, scorches do not like boom cannons. And boom can is basically, it's a vice versa relationship. Um, Scorchers don't like boom cannons. Boom cannons don't like Scorchers, so. They do a lot of damage to each other, but boom cannons seem to win sometimes because, as y'all can see, um, the Scorchers, I don't know, I, I want to say they won't deal, they do deal a lot of damage, but they don't deal as much damage as y'all think they do, in a sense. Because the boom cannons, they deal a lot. But the Scorchers, they do a lot over a period of time, kind of, if, if y'all get what I'm saying, so. All right, so, break down that base. We lost, oh, ouch, six, seven Scorchers, ouch, that was painful. Let's see how much this is going to cost me. So, basically, everything I just made off of that base, plus some um, to re restore it. Yeah, and yeah, that's the pain of using scorches right there. But it's something that you got to get used to because if you want to tear down these insane layouts, sometimes you just have to bring the best troop. That is not a potent troop in the game. So, and that would happen to be scorches. So we're just gonna come in here. We're gonna launch our scorches like in a four by four pattern like this. I like doing this because it throws the defenses off completely badly. <laughs> the defenses, like if they have defenses up on the up on the beach like this, it throws them off really badly. If you, um, in my fence, in my opinion, if you launch them like four like this, three, and then uh, yeah, we gotta wait for the last one. We gotta wait for some for, for some gumbo energy. As y'all gonna see, the scorchers are just gonna make themselves like a wall and they're just going to push up. And it's going to be too much because the, the defenses are going to be constantly trying to retarget themselves and trying to retarget themselves all to different sort of scorches to take them all down. But the scorches have a ton of health, so I'm getting through this. I guess he has his shock um, blast uh, launchers in the back. These are the launchers. The blue things are the blasters. And then he has a shield generator all the way back there. 
I'm debating if I want to go after the shit Polly. Nah, I should be good. Because it's only one of them. Yeah, I should be good. I'm just burning and let them burn, burn, burn. How many scorches did we lose? We lost one, two. We lost three scorches, but we didn't lose that many. Hopefully, this guy had some. I forgot what the resources said, so we're about to see here after I beat his. Okay, we're just going to dump a whole bunch of um, critters right there and then just eat the rest of his um, core out. There you go. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that because, like, that's in Japanese characters, so. Go with Mr. Japanese characters. Beat him down. Gotta come in here, reinforce. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna keep track of the gold now so I can show y'all that sometimes. Um, uh, it out. Oh, do I have any more players? Oh, I just got the one left. Oh, cool. Alright, so. So, for example, this. Alright, this is not a good example because this player, he is playing crab right now and his base is loaded with loot. But, yeah, he's playing crab right now. He does not have none of the blue statues down. He is definitely playing crab. He is shooting for the higher stages. But, I could easily tear through this base because he has no blue down. So, we're just going to launch everything. We're not going to do the 4x4 four four pattern. We're just going to drop them all as a clump. And then walk through this entire base because, like I said, he has no blue down, so there's no challenge for my scorches. There's nothing. There's no more. There's not more ridiculous damage being done to my scorches. So they should just easily walk through all of this. As y'all see, that one scorcher right there, he has he is at half health. But I'm going to guarantee y'all, I am not probably going to lose a scorcher in this battle. Because I'm going to drop some stun, 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 and then we're going to walk bullet up with the energy drink. Where is he? Yeah, he's running. So, chew everything up. And then, after we chew up enough stuff, we're just going to drop a flare into the um core. And then, we d yeah, blow up the core. Easy. Thank you for the mill and gold. I really needed that, sir. Because, kind of dipping low in gold. So, thank you, good sir, for the mill and gold. Very much appreciated. All right, so I'm not gonna attack these NPC bases that I have on my um on my map because, in my opinion, they waste the time because I can destroy them all. So come on here, destroy these, and just gather all my resources. To, and then we're gonna go and hit up Mr. Doctor T in his little in his little volcano. What am I kidding? That is not no little volcano because that is a huge stage. I do believe this is his biggest stage that he has. So we're going to go in here. Hit him. Nope, that's the crab. He also builds the crab too, so, but his crab comes once per month. So, yep, this is the bigger stage. So, I'm just going to come in here with the rockets because remember, as y'all know, I'm still on the boost with the barrage. So, I'm just going to come in here and end his core. Really? What kind of nonsense? Bruh. All right, you know what? <laughs> <coughs> All right, so apparently the score has a lot of health on it. So <laughs> I guess I'm just going to have to hit the thing. And you know what? To make this interesting, we're just going to do a drop and run, uh, drop and flare. So we're going to drop everything and then flare to the core. Drop the flare, drop the flare. Everybody loves to drop the flare. All right. Get the scorcher straight back to that core and just burn it up, eat it up real quick, fast. There we go. Make it red hot. All right, drop the stage one. Come on, get we get into stage two here. Come on, thank you. Oh, he still has his vampire persona on. What's up, Mr. Vampire? God, I love this game. I really do like Boom Beach. Um, I can't. I I can't wait for the update that they're coming with with the new prototype and um. 
new prototype. I am really looking forward to that. And I am looking forward to becoming the top player in this game. Now, when I get high up in trophies, I'm going to have to change out my trophy layout. Out. The only reason why, I mean my statue layout, the only reason why my statues are the way they are right now is because, as y'all saw, my base is not maxed out yet. None of these buildings are maxed out yet. So, my statue layout with the resource, all of that is not going to change until I get my entire base maxed out. I thought I maxed out my base. I'm going to drop the resource statue and then put up more blue statues. All right, so we're going to just drop the scorches right here. Drop the player. And maybe I'll stun. Drop and flare stun. <laughs> I like that. All right. Cord, cord is down. Get into this next one real, real fast here. Drop and flare. And stun on the shock launcher because we don't need anything slowing us up. I really hope, of course, that shock launcher sees them. What else is new? Well, as long as they, well, it's a good thing that the shocks don't last as long yet. So, because the higher or the the higher the level of the shock launcher, the the longer lasting the shock lasts for. Like, my shock launchers are maxed, so my shock launch, they stun for quite a while. <laughs> yes, the shock launchers on my base is the only um, defense on my base that is maxed right now. So we're going to get right in here. Stage 5. <sighs> Little guy. They really don't think I can just flare straight to your core and just avoid all your defenses. Like, watch. None of my scorches, are, my scorches are just like, oh, just walking through here. Hello. Oh, seriously. Shocks, shocks, shocks. Really? Shut it down. All right, anyways. But yeah, come back in here. Man, it's burning the core down. Yeah, Dr. T. I only do Dr. T for the resources. Like I said, I'm trying to max out my base, so. <clears throat> All right. <sighs> Stage six. Gonna get right into it. Boop, 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 boop. And flare, drop and flare. Yeah, drop and flare. Let's do this. Let's do this. Do, 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 do. Mm, we drop and flare. Do, 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 do. Dude, we drop player. Yeah, that's fun. All right. So as I saw, I got seven bolts instead of eight bolts out the time. So I didn't get all eight out, but I got seven. So yeah. And they just burned the core down and everything just blows up. That is stage six. Down. And now we just got stage seven. All right, stage seven, what you got? Nothing. All right. So, you already know it. Drop. And flare. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a shock mine right there. Yeah, we don't want that. All right, so just with, we're going to eat up the core. Look at them. Just look at them. My meatballs, they burn down the core. And I don't care about all the damage that y'all did to them because they just burn you down and you just go boom. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is stage seven, y'all. Maybe use a little Dr. T stage, volcano stage. 
All right. I really hope you like this video. If you liked it, drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. I will be dropping videos more often, probably daily, because I really like this game, and I really like posting videos for y'all, because I really enjoy this game. And I will be posting more videos with Animal Crossing after I get the content for that captured. So, I will catch y'all in the next one. And once again, it's your boy T-Boy, right here in Boom Beach. See ya later. As he says, his discussions seem to be getting worse. I have a feeling he'll be back. I will be back. Catch you on the next one. Peace.